Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another version of our partner, Tech Talk. Got a great partner with us today, and uh, Jeff, welcome to Tech Talk. Thank you very much, I'm excited. Tell us a little about your business, first of all, and what you guys do. So, uh, I don't know, 32 years ago, I, uh, uh, we had baby twins, so I know that within like a month of doing this. We started a business, copier company, and uh, I was just a kid, and uh, I was staying at home with good dad and wonderful things and then one day the industry decided to change and we needed IT so I went out and bought an IT company uh, just to not look like an idiot when we walked out and a customer wanted to print so we did that and then one day you wake up and say oh this IT thing's not so bad either and so we started an IT company and then a few years ago uh, we started a software solutions group and so today we have three quarter lines our imaging group our software group and our IT service group that's phenomenal and you know we started talking about how we revolutionize and change the service industry internally within Xerox and develop a product, Care AR, yeah. and really tried to take service to a new level. And you absolutely have been both embraced it. You've been an early adopter. Tell us about why you were early adopter in Care AR and value that you're seeing with it. You know, I don't know what it is, but I, I'm very comfortable in having to try new things, number yeah. one. And number two, let's be honest, if I wanted to ride out the, the print business, I could. I'm almost 60 years old. If I want to do this for another five or six years, it's not going to be a drastic change in my life. But, you know, my son and our vice president of sales are both 38 and 40, mm -hmm. and they've come in and said, hey, listen, we want to continue and build on this, and we'd like to buy it over time. And so um, we just woke up one day, and you start to realize that you, we have to be willing to look for innovative ways. And that's been one of the most exciting things that I really didn't anticipate in our partnership. And then when you threw Care AR into the mix, uh, I think I was the number one uh, driver today, <laughs> bringing people down to the booths and you have to sign up for this. <laughs> but it, it, it is one revolutionary from the perspective of how um, you look at the issues that you guys were much farther ahead than anybody else was. We have older techs that are retiring, younger people coming in, it's expensive to train them, and how do we do that from a perspective that's gonna be more, most efficient for all of us? From that perspective, it's been a home run. I mean, everything we wanted, we've done it both from an IT perspective and from an imaging perspective. And then now that we're finally really excited on, on how you guys continue to evolve it from a resale perspective, so how we can start selling it as a service. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, we saw it early in terms of the knowledge gap between our seasoned and our aging workforce and how do we get new exciting blood into our service team and right. it's a great recruiting tool it is talk about you know how it people is now see service in your business well you know so i think part of the problem was there used to be schools right yeah. uh the younger kids back in the day could go to a school tech data or something like that come out and they were copier certified yeah. today there's just there's nothing like that in our market and so when they can look at this new technology and you can show them, hey, with a pair of glasses, I can give you augmented reality, it changes the game a little bit, right? The conversation's different. Um, the, the real frustrating thing is, candidly, I wish this was just your secret and mine, <laughs> <laughs> so that unfortunately, I'm sure other competitors in our market inevitably are going to do it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I, our techs are, including, we, we, have a, we had one of your employees from one of your branches come over recently and work for us. And he had never seen the technology. And he's one of the senior guys that gets to be one that is, people are kind of reaching out to for the additional help uh, from the young kids. So, and they're young. I mean, they're back into the late 20s, early 30s. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, as long as they're digital natives, we can teach them through technology on how to service equipment. But by the way, it's not just print equipment, right? Oh, no. It's IT services. Oh. And by the way, you can now start to expand your services to anything that really needs technicians. So let me give you two examples outside of that even. So think about this. Yeah, our IT, that was a no brainer. That was the first video we saw, that was perfect. But um, we just met with the city of Grand Rapids and we've been trying to get in the door there for a long time. And where we found the unique niche for that was um, when they're doing, you know, um, opening up a new building, you have to have the police department, the fire department, and the building inspector go through. That's three separate trips, three separate everything. Um, and so what ultimately we suggested was, and they came back with some of the suggestions, uh, we're gonna send you know, MJ in there, and you know, you're the fire chief, I'm the, you know, 
I'm the building inspector and we've got the, you know, the police department. MJ puts her glasses on and not only are they videotaping, I'm telling you, you need to look at this, you need to look at that, but it's now being recorded. Yeah. And then one of the interesting things was the fear of FOIA came up, right? Freedom of information. And I said, I don't think that, I think it's gonna help you. This isn't like some of the other things you really have to worry about. Legal basically has kind of come back in other entities and said, he's right because they've had things when dogs bit an employee and they're saying, no, the, the dog didn't. <laughs> yeah, I had it on camera. <laughs> it did bite us. I recorded uh, it. Or, you know, we told you that you had to make these changes before you could get to certificate of occupancy. And, oh, no, you didn't. Well, yes, we did. On this date, here's the video for it. So um, we're meeting with a builder next week. Uh, a very large builder in uh, West Michigan, same thing. Um, they have to roll trucks if there's a problem, and now they can have somebody on site actually reach in the office, office can send out, and so what they're looking at is making the investment in a set of glasses that actually stays on site through the course of the project, so it's available to any of the trades that are using it. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we found is, you know, the art of the possible, once you start this journey with Carry R, you know, you start with a service and building and driving service productivity, and then you run into all these use cases. You, right. know, you talked about two of them immediately, right. right? And you start to think about your impact on sustainability, and you start to think about the use cases by industry. How excited have you been, been about what you have found in the journey around different use cases? I, it's almost speechless because every time I get around your team, there's another new workflow. Yeah. I mean, think about this. One of, the, one of the most difficult things in our industry is why do people call, yeah. right? Um, we don't get the luxury of calling their office and having them answer the phone, but we have to, yeah. right? And it was, we found unequivocal, it was 75 to 80% of every phone call that comes into our business is for toner and parts mm. and for service. That's it. And so, you know, we started going out and talking to clients and asking them about a portal. And uh, well, I don't want to, I'm, I'm exhausted with portals. I'm exhausted with having to log passwords. I, I don't want to do that. Well, what do you have downstairs? Yeah. You got your QR code now that you can put on the machine, pop your phone up, it opens up the matrix, and we're working with your team now about customizing it to push it into to SAP for the meter reading so I, can, so I can get the service call uploaded, no more phone call. So we went out and started talking to clients about it, and clients were like, well, yeah, I always have my phone. I'd much rather do that. Do I get, the only other reason is, I like to know that someone got my message. You'll get an actual email back within probably a few minutes of sending it. Yeah. Oh, well then I'll just do that. Yeah. So, I mean, when you look at where this can go and uh, you're now looking at drones and other opportunities, forget what you can do to save your business time and money. I'm looking at it now, trying to figure out how we can actually sell it and open the door into customers that for some reason we've struggled to get in and like the city. I'm for the first time finally sitting down with people that matter yeah. and it was because of Xerox and Care AR. Yeah, you know, as, as we have found, you know, it's a different buyer. It's not about procurement anymore. It's nope. not about the office. It now is some of the decision makers and some of these big processes, whether it's in hospitals, hospitality. And what I'm really excited about is we now added content builder. We now can build out content that helps with self-instruction, whether it's video content. Talk about a little about some of the new features that we've put in there, either around AI or around Content Builder. What so let's look at the Content Builder, right? Yeah. That goes right back to that QR code again. Yeah. How do I change toner? I can eliminate those phone calls. I can QR code it, hit the button for toner, and the video plays yeah. right there, right? It's, it can't be more than a 15, 20 second video for any of the machines. Yeah. So, um, and then now what's really gonna be exciting is the, the data and analytics we can ultimately start getting back. Yeah on what we're building and if we're achieving some of the, the matrices and some of the things that we're trying to accomplish, both from a client perspective and from our perspective. You know, one of the things, Jeff, is, you know, we see other partners that are out there just a little bit hesitant. I don't know about this augmented virtual reality right. stuff, right? It's like, it's, I don't quite understand it. How do you encourage them to get started? Just try it. So one, you guys have made it easy, yeah. free. For, for a while, right? I don't want to say, so hopefully, that, I think that's out now. I got yeah, the phone call on that. So, so one, that's free, but I keep telling what I was paying, I'd keep, I, I'm, you know, we'll keep paying. It, yeah. it was well worth it. But no, I think the biggest problem is, is that, and it really shocks me from an industry perspective. Um, you know, if you, I, I just don't understand. I mean, if you pick the phone up from a telemarketing perspective today and say, hi, I'd like to talk to you about your copiers, I'm telling you, click. Mm. Yeah, they wouldn't, they're just beyond rude now. They're just, 
what are you, an idiot? You know, why are you doing this? And so when you can use these type of tools, if you don't, your competitors are. Yeah. Yeah. And so from my perspective, you know, with our software group and our IT service group and our imaging group, and this product fits right in with us in our software area, I, I, I would encourage every one of an independent dealer, if you plan on surviving and thriving, you have to do something else. And so this is a true story. And um, we, we got a doc management solution. So we went in and it was about, we don't know what we're gonna help you with. We don't know if it's equipment, if it's service, is it software, or if it's consulting. We don't know until we do our assessment. But when we were done with the software with their pain point, they looked at us and said, they bought 80 units. Mm. They go, by the way, what did I buy? <laughs> we said, you know, we said we bought Xerox. Oh, okay, great. Uh -huh. I mean, that was the conversation. Yeah. And the last piece of advice I would give them is, bottom line is, it's statistically true and I can prove it to anybody, 90% of all of our IT customers buy copiers from us. Mm. 5% of the copier customers buy IT services from wow. us. And it's almost the same, it's 78 and, uh, and, and about the same 5% on software. Yeah. So when you can walk in the door with some real solutions and get away from speeds, feeds like everyone else, so if you're not doing that, you're now at a very distinct disadvantage. And now it becomes, uh, so he wasn't looking at my price on my per box or yeah. per CPC, I fixed a problem that was gonna save them a lot of money and it was an inevitability that we were gonna get the rest of the business. You know, as you look going forward, what are some of the things you want Xerox to help you with in this space very specifically and what can we do to continue to help you grow in, in these areas? I just hope one, you continue to do it. Yeah. Uh, because from my perspective, I'm kind of jealous of, you know, you get to lead a company and we're trying to kind of mirror that where you have the, the, number one, you have the resources, the capital, and the ability to go out and make the, uh, make the acquisitions like a carrier and that whole software group that you bought. You're doing it in IT services, you're doing it in doc management services. Um, so I think the, the fact that these are now available for dealers, um, if I were an independent dealer that didn't sell Xerox equipment, I would still want to partner with Xerox today for all the software and the technology solutions that they have available. Right, that's awesome. So I, I'm just asking, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. We'll do it. Well, you know, Jeff, one of the things that we try to do is we try to look at what are the things that our clients need in the future. Think about RPA and AI and how do we incorporate it into the products and services. So what you're going to see in Carry R is more AI capability. You will see that integrated into document process and RPA on top of it. And so now we're starting to build these ecosystems that are incredibly sticky in terms of inside of customer processes. It, we can't be disaggregated by a box anymore. Correct. We can't be disaggregated by a vendor because now we're integrated into our clients. We're integrated into their processes, right? Yep. We thank you so much for being and driving and challenging us, but more importantly, making us better every day. Appreciate every time it. you drive us, we make us better every day. And we thank you for our partnership and we love the story. And thank you so much, Jeff. My really pleasure. appreciate it. Great yeah. job. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining this version of Tech Talk and hopefully you get an opportunity to Walk in the journey of Care AR and watch Jeff and watch your teams and watch your customers and clients succeed with augmented virtual reality and AI in the future. Thank you for joining us.